It's Tony from CassetteComeback.com. Now, before we start, I just want to talk about the actual channel because over the last week or so, it's uh, it seems to have taken off. I don't know if it's been featured somewhere or something, but uh, some of the videos are getting 10,000 views. I've got nearly 1,500 subscribers and... It's good, but I just wanted to say, please don't feel offended if I don't get round to commenting on your comments. I'm liking the fact that people are telling the stories in there and their relationship cassettes, and that's great. It's just, I am a regular working guy, father, you know, with a nine to five, so I don't get the time I, I need to, to sort of answer all of your comments, but please don't be offended if I don't. I am going through them, and I will try and say something where I can. So uh, keep leaving them, keep supporting. It's great. Thank you very much. But like I say, it's just, yeah, it's gone a bit crazy lately. I always thought this would be very niche, and only a few hundred people would see them, but uh, here we go. So let's talk about this Motley crew of mixed cassettes today. Oh, incidentally, if you like Motley Crue, there's a film, The Dirt, on Netflix. I watched it recently. It's very good. So, we've got Memorex, we've got M-Tech, we've got Scotch, we've got Gold Star. What do all these have in common? Well, if you've read the title, you probably know. Uh, because after doing the Saiham video, people said, oh, you've got to do SKC, SKC. And indeed, all of these are SKC. Now, SKC, Sung Kong Magnetic... Um, is a Korean company, and they were also one of the biggest players in supplying tape to the pre-recorded market and duplicators. So, SKC cassettes are uh, plentiful, but not normally in the actual branded of being SKC. They were mostly available by other brands, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Now, it's not 100% true, but if you want to determine where a cassette comes from, I'm coming to the conclusion that the DNA is all in the hubs. And if we look at these hubs, three hold hubs, yeah? This signifies SKC. So let's just have a look, you know. Um, this Memorex, the three hold hubs, SKC. This MTech, the three hold hubs, it's SKC. This other Memorex, three hold hubs, SKC. The Scotch, I don't know if you can see it from this angle, but again, the three hold hubs. They're all SKC, these cassettes. But like I say, SKC made for a lot of people, but the actual SKC branded cassettes, a bit like the Saiham branded cassettes, are a bit hard to find. And then this guy on the internet contacted me. And now I have lots of SKC cassettes that we can look at and talk about. So, where are we going to start? Let's start with the SKC CD. Now, I want to do this as a comparison to the SKC QX and see if I'm right. Now, if we look at the SKC QX, it says high bias type 2. Yeah? Now, if I just open this one... we look at this shell, it's a nice shell this, but bear with me, I'm going to have a sniff. Yes, I'm going to have a sniff. Yeah, that's not got any particular smell. But if we note again, it says on this, high bias. Yeah? Now, let's take the SKC CD, which doesn't say high bias. It says chrome position super chrome and it actually has the IEC2 standard on this if you think the ICT, IEC2 standard was almost based on BASF pure chrome so let's have a smell of this one and I'm thinking I'm hoping anyway that this one is going to have that lovely sweet Crayola, Crayola smell to it let's have a smell yes that has Crayola smell to it and indeed, it says advanced chrome formula. So like I say, chrome position, but on this one, which I'm sure is a ferro-cobalt, it says high bias. So SKC make pure chromes. And indeed, if I go into the stash of, oh, this is getting messy, other cassettes that were here, I can tell you that these two Memorex, superb, these are both pure chrome as well. 
So I know it says chrome bias and this says high bias. It gets confusing because it's rebranded. But these two are pure chromes. Where, say, for example, this Scotch BX is not a pure chrome. This is a ferro-cobalt. In fact, the shell and everything, very similar to this QX. are almost the same cassette. So the other ones we've got, we've got the GX, which is basically... They're D equivalent, the sort of... Well, no, it's not actually. This isn't the D. They have an LX be below this, which is sort of D. This is sort of the AD equivalent, but with a clear shell. Now, the other one that I want to show you is the AX. Now, this one... Let's open this one up. It says open here, but you can't. Which is kind of annoying. So you know what that calls for. It calls for external help. Let's split this open. There you go. One way or another, you're coming around to tell me is where you're thinking. Right. Now, the AX, this is a really nice shell. I've got to say, I really like these shells. This one says Super Sound Cassette me uh, Mechanism, but it says Ultimate Normal Bias. Now, this is the top of the line SKC Ferric. So I've got high hopes for this because this cassette here, the MRXIS, I class as a super ferric, and this is an SKC cassette. I think this is a very, very good type one. You know, I'd, I'd be pushed to say it, it's sort of around AR territory, certainly as good as an AD. But this AX I've never had before, so I'm quite looking forward to seeing how this one performs. So... Let's do some testing, and what we're going to test, we're going to test this AX, then we're going to test this QX, which is the ferro-cobalt type 2, and then we're going to test the CD, which is a pure chrome. So, since everyone likes it so much, I'm going to fire up the dragon. Let's do some taping. Well, the gem said... The public gets what the public wants, so you guys seem to like it when they use the dragon. Why not? It's a lovely deck. Uh, I love using it. So uh, we're going to use the dragon again. First one is going to be, if we can reflect it right in the light, this QX, which is sort of their SA equivalent. It's a ferro cobalt chrome. No, ferro cobalt type 2, not chrome, as we can see. Yeah, dark black tape on that. So let's put that in. I've already calibrated it to this. The music I'm going to use is one of mine. I've used it in a different form before. This is a new edit of it that's shorter. It's called Tears in Rain by Villa Rosso. I shall put a link in the description if you want to go and listen to it offline or maybe copy it yourself to a tip or even better, purchase one of my dragon recorded singles of it. Yes, I'm doing my own with lovingly made amateurish inserts and stickers. But if you collect the old Synthwave tapes and this goes somewhere... I'll be worth someone discovers in a few years. Anyway, enough self-promotion. Let's record this SKC QX. Right, let's take this down. I want this to peak at around three, where I normally record a ferro cobalt. So let's go. Yeah. Yeah, 
that's uh, it's very decent. I didn't hear many dropouts. It captured everything good. Yeah, I like that. That's a very decent Ferro Cobalt Type 2. Now, let's go to this bad boy, which is the Chrome. So I'm going to need to recalibrate the deck for this one. So warning now, if you're listening with headphones, you're going to be getting test tones in your ears. So turn them down, okay? Oh yeah, this this biases very differently to the Ferro Cobalt. I need to give it a lot more level. I imagine. Let's look at the bias. Oh, the biasing's not too different. Okay. With there. With there. Okay, I'm going to turn the level down because, as always, pure chromes, you don't want to record these over zero. So I'm going to try and keep these to zero. Here we go. Let's listen. That hiss is low. Good, good, good. The low hiss of a pure chrome. Right, let's get some music on it. Right, let's take this up to zero. What I'm going to do, I'm going to crank the output volume of the deck so we can hear it a bit better. Yeah, goody gumdrops. Yeah, performs like a pure crumb should. Low hiss, keep the levels low, but it sounds good. Good tape, and again, I like this shell. And again, that's very dark tape. Yeah, I like that one. Right, now then, the Super Ferric. And this one I'm going to be merciless on. Let's, uh, let's see how we can do it on this one. So let's rewind the song a bit. I'm going to crank the output down a bit because I'm going to run this one hot. Okay, I've already biased my type 1 to this. Let's get it going. Right, so peaking at zero, let's Take this to three where I'd normally take a ferret to. Back to the source. Right, so this is picking up five. Okay, this is currently running at AD level. This is where I'd run an AD. It's be a bit naughty. Let's take this up until we can distort it. Well, let's take it to seven. Seven. This is silly. 
Let's go to What make of that? That was peaking at plus 10 at one point. I mean, I'd never normally run any tape at that. Plus 5 is the highest I'd run anything, and that would be something like an ARX or a Fuji FR1 Super. But you know what? I'm going to stick my neck out and say this has suddenly gone into my top 5 cassettes because that took it, and that took it well. It sounded good, and it didn't distort, even at crackers levels, that we'd never normally run a cassette at. SKC AX? Mmm. Very, very impressed. <laughs> well, what did you make of that? Well, they say there's nothing more surprising than a surprise. I always knew SKC were good, but the CD and the AX, well, they were a a bit special, don't get me wrong. QX, perfectly good for a Cobalt Type 2. The CD, I really like the shell on this, really like the shell. Big window shells, but not fully clear. Yes, yeah, my sweet spot, reminds me of mid 80s Denons and Sonys. This is a very good pure chrome tape, very impressed with that. But the star of the show has to be this. The AX Superferric Ultimate Normal Bias, I'm not going to argue. I didn't think I would find much to compete with the likes of a Denon DX4 or an ARX or an FRI Super. This does. This is as good. This is one of my favourite cassettes. This, yeah, it's fantastic. And it's not even like this is Cobalt Dolt, because if you look at it, it's very brown tape. That does not look like a Cobalt Dope tape. I mean, you know, if you compare it to the QX, which is cobalt doped, we can see we've got very, very different colours of tape here. But then again, the Fuji FRI Super is very brown. But yeah, this is a really surprisingly good cassette. And because of the way I work, I've managed to get quite a few of these in stock. So if you go to my website, cassettecomeback.com, you'll find that I have these at super prices. For example, if you like ARXs, how about you pay a lot less than what ARXs go for, for one of these? Because if I get them at a good price, I'll sell them at a good price. It's as simple as that. So please do trust along if you fancy any of these SKCs, because they are rare, and I don't know how long they're going to be in stock for. So thanks again for watching. Like I say, comment i will try and get around to your comments it just might be well but please don't think i'm ignoring you and the other thing i want to do i'm just going to post a little link up there now is a friend of mine from our facebook group and she's got her own little channel where she's going to be doing her own little videos and she's like the first lady of cassettes in my book she's got some great decks great taste so go along give her videos a watch give her some love give her a subscribe and don't forget about the Facebook group, which I'll post to after this. And until next time, thanks again for all the likes. I could do with some more. I have one video with 10,000 views and it's only got 400 likes. Come on, boys, if you enjoyed it, click the like. Thank you very much. And until next time, keep on taping. Bye-bye.